Hello everyone, my name is Jared Liner. I'm an application system engineer out of Greensboro, North Carolina with the Aerospace and Defense Group. And the reason I'm here is to show you some really, really cool stuff that's going on today. So the story I'm going to tell you today is how analog devices can help you with a complete system solution from bits to high power RF. It's important to note that because uh, it's not just RF anymore. We really want to get you all the way to the high power, through the antenna with high power. One of my main pieces I'm showing today is the uh, AD9164. It's a 12 giga sample per second uh, DAC with DDS type functions. It's pretty nice to know. And then it's also 16 bits. So nice resolution, some really good um, form and function there, whether you want wide band modulated signals or you want to use the NCO only and just do some frequency, some fast frequency hopping. So this is the component for you. Really popular in the commercial and in the aerospace and defense market. And a really nifty new HMC1114 GAN PA in a plastic package. So GAN PAs, we have those all day long. We have lots of pa uh, parts in plastic package, but marrying those two technologies, getting GAN in a plastic package, is, uh, is a really big deal. So now I've got wide bandwidth. I can get you direct RF at the S band, so two to four gigahertz, and I can amplify that up to 10 watts. So I've got you 10 watts S band RF with just a couple of components here. Right here we have the HMC7891. It's a 2 to 18 gigahertz limiting amplifier, 45 dB of gain, 10 dBm of P1 dB, and 13 dBm of saturated power. Comparably, we have a 100 megahertz to 20 gigahertz ultra wideband PA module. This is a gas mimic, and it's got 24 dB of gain, 25 dB P1 dB, and it's a single 15 volt supply. We have the HMC C584. That's a 5 bit digital attenuator from 100 megahertz all the way out to 40 gigahertz. It's 31 dB attenuation with 1 dB of least significant bits. And I can get you to, uh, we'll say something like 500 watts at the uh, X band with some up conversion. Or maybe you want to go to some satellite communications when you have the, uh, the KA band for, at 30 watts. For more information, go to analog.com slash ADEF.